Okay. Now, there's, there's, there's more outrageous, just embarrassing. Can't really believe. I, I feel like I'm still watching the Saturday Night Live 40th anniversary show with this next one. Have you heard about Marie Harf at the State Department of what she said? She was on MSNBC last night. We have a ban on all audio from MSNBC. She was on with Chris Matthews. And even Matthews did was doing everything he could to agree with her and support her. But even he thought he was listening to a lunatic. Marie Harf said, we cannot win the war on terror, nor can we win the war on ISIS by killing them. We need to find them jobs. We need to get to the root cause of terrorism, and that is poverty and lack of opportunity in the terrorist community. Now, this is exactly what I mean when I talk about young skulls full of mush being corrupted at the academy, at university, at colleges, institutions of higher learning. This woman is an absolute throwback to 1960s feel-good liberalism that is senseless. It's chickified. It denies reality. It is it is, and this is the number two spokeswoman at the State Department. And her boss is not very much more cogent. That would be the infamous Jen Psaki. Marie Harf, a spokeswoman for the U.S. State Department, said Americans cannot win against the Islamic State by killing them. And we ought to instead focus on addressing what she claimed was the root problem, their poor economy and help them get jobs. Marie, you you can't even do that in this country. You got 92 and a half million Americans not even working in this country. And you are clueless about how to change that. And now all of a sudden, we're in a war and we're not going to win this. By, you know what the purpose of armies is, is to kill people and break things. Wars are not won with doctors and nurses and clean water and good vibes and jobs and all of the Typical, nonsensical, worthless, touchy-feely, gooey, syrupy, sticky liberalism. It's getting dangerous out there. She said, we're, we're killing a lot of them, and we're going to keep killing more of them. And so are the Egyptians, and so are the Jordanians. They're in this fight with us. We can't win this war by killing them. We cannot kill our way out of this war. We need, in the medium to longer term, to go after the root causes that leads people to join these groups. This embodies everything, that this regime refuses to acknowledge that these people are militant Islamists. And by the way, I have a theory about why that is. I think it all can be traced back to everybody on the left and everybody in the media who did nothing but lie and spread lies about how Bush had lied us into war. They succeeded in delegitimizing the Iraq war by spreading that lie that Bush lied to get us into it. I got a break here, but I'm going to expand on this because I think that's what we're dealing with here. We can't, we can't kill ourselves. Or we can't, we got to find ISIS jobs. I just, I'm sitting here, I am, I'm, I don't know what I am. I'm just...